Hi everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve simple trigonometric equations. In our first example, we've been given that cos x is equal to 0.5. And we've been asked to work out the value of x within the range of 0 to 360. So if cos x is equal to 0.5 and we want x, then we need to apply the inverse operation of cos. And this is arc cos which we write as cos to the negative one. And we need to apply this to both sides. Then these inverse operations will cancel. So what we're left with is x will equal the arc cos of 0.5. And I'll show you how to work this out on a calculator. We press shift, we want the cos, and then we want 0.5. We need to make sure our calculator is in degrees mode. And then we get x is equal to 60 degrees. Okay. But because this is trigonometry, there might be another solution to x within the range we've been given. So the way we find this other solution is if we sketch a graph of cos of x. So sketch the graph between 0 to 360. Now remember the solution cannot be equal to 0 because of this symbol here, but our solution can be equal to 360 because of this symbol. So if we mark on our 60 degree angle, which is about here, we go up to the curve, and we know this is 0.5. But if we carry this horizontal line on, you can see there's another solution at 0.5 within our range, and this, is at this point. So to work out this angle, we can use the fact that the cosine graph is symmetrical about the line x equals 180. We know from 0 to 60 is 60 degrees. So if we go back from 360 by 60 degrees, we know this will have an angle of 300. So within the range of 0 to 360, our solutions are x equals 60 and x equals 300 degrees. Okay? So perhaps you want to try solving question B using the sine graph. You can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we need to do is divide both sides by two. So sine x will equal root three over two. Then we need to apply the inverse of sine to both sides, which is arc sine. These two will cancel, so we're left with x will equal the arc sine of root 3 over 2. And again, I'll show you how to work this out on a calculator. So we'll clear this, we'll press shift and sine for our arc sine, and then we'll enter root 3 over 2 and we get again x equals 60. So now to find the other solution, if there is one, we need to sketch the sine graph. We know our first solution is at 60 degrees. So we go up to our curve and across. We know the y value will be root 3 over 2. And this will have another solution at this point. Now we know the sine graph is symmetrical from 0 to 180, about 90 degrees. And 60 is 30 away from 90. So going 30 in the other direction, we know this will be 90 plus 30, 120. So our solutions to the equation are x equals 60 and x equals 120 degrees. Okay? Let's try two more questions. Okay, so in this example, we've been asked to solve two cos theta plus five sine theta equals zero within the range of zero to 360. But the question is, do we use the cos graph or do we use the sine graph? Well, we don't actually use either because do you remember that the tan of theta will be the sine of theta divided by the cos of theta? So if we have 
root 2 cos theta plus root 5 sine theta. And then we divide both sides by cos of theta. Then we know cos theta divided by itself will make 1. So this would just become root 2. And then we have root 5 multiplied by sine theta over cos theta, which we know here is tan theta. And 0 divided by cos theta is 0. So now we can move this root 2 to the right hand side. So we get root 5 tan theta will equal minus root 2. We'll divide both sides by root 5. So tan theta will be negative root 2 over root 5. We'll apply arc tan to both sides. And these will cancel. So theta will be the arc tan of negative root 2 over root 5. And then we can work this out on our calculators. So we get shift tan for arc tan negative root 2 over the square root of 5. And this gives us theta is equal to negative 32.3 to one decimal place. Okay? But again, there may be other solutions within this range. So we need to sketch the graph of tan theta. So if we plot the solution we found at negative 32.3, we go down to our curve. We know this will have a value of negative root 2 over 5, over root 5. And then we can find all the solutions for theta that give us this value. So within our given range, our solution is here and here. We know this is 32.3 degrees away from zero. So this will be 32.3 degrees away from 180. And this will be the same from 360. So our solutions are theta is equal to 180 minus 32.3. And theta is equal to 360 minus the same. So we get 147.7 and 327.7 degrees. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, so finally for question B, we're going to solve tan squared theta equals 12. So we'll cancel out this squared by taking the square root of both sides. So tan theta will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 12. A common mistake here is to forget to include this negative root 12. We'll take the arc tan of both sides. So theta will be the arc tan of root 12. Or theta will be the arc tan of negative root 12. We can work these out on our calculator. So shift and tan root 12. And we get theta equals 73.9 to one decimal place. Then when we do negative root 12, we get theta equals negative 73.9. Okay? But to find the other solutions, we need to sketch a graph of tan theta. So we'll look at the positive case first. We've got theta is 73.9. So this will be about here. We go up to our curve. We have our root 12 at 73.9 degrees. Then you can see our other solution within the range will be at this point. We know the difference between 90 and 73.5 is 16.1. So our negative solution will be negative 90 minus 16.1 which gives us negative 106.1. So the solutions for positive root 12 are this value and this value. If we now look at when we've got negative root 12, so negative 73.9, 
that will be about here. And this will be negative root 12. So you can see there'll be another solution when theta is positive. We'll go back to the x axis. And we can work out this value of theta. We know the difference between these is 16.1. So we'll have the same difference on this side. So this will be where theta is 106.1 degrees. So these are our other two solutions. So finally, theta is equal to negative 106.1, negative 73.9, 73.9, and 106.1 degrees okay well thank you very much for watching i hope you found that useful if you did find that helpful please like and subscribe and you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website mrmathematics.com